Welcome to our second webinar for Chapter Advisors. Thank you so much for being here today to discuss how to use Phi Sigma Pi's Chapter Admin Portal, or CAP for short. I'm Danielle Reidenbach, Director of Leadership Advancement, and I'm the Chapter Advisor contact for Phi Sigma Pi. I'm also in charge of Phi Sigma Pi's award-winning certification program called Leadership in Action. Before we jump into today's topic, I wanted to take a couple minutes to ask a couple of poll questions so we can get to know everyone in attendance a little more. The first poll question is, how long have you been a chapter advisor for a Phi Sigma Pi chapter? Great, so we have one person for two to four years and another for eight plus years. Thank you so much for your dedication. We really appreciate it. The next question, what is your biggest challenge as an advisor? We had communication with the chapter and then other. Perfect. What do you hope to get out of this webinar? Learn how to use the Chapter Admin Portal and all of the above. And one more. Have you used the Chapter Admin Portal before? And says yes, which is great. So you've already seen the process, which is very helpful as we start this webinar. So thank you for answering them. We, I appreciate it. If at any time during this webinar you have any questions, please ask them in the GoToWebinar box on your screen. First things first, what is the Chapter Admin Portal? The Chapter Admin Portal is a portal, portal where eBoard members and officers turn to in order to update their chapter information when it comes to addresses and rosters, and also where they turn in any of the upcoming forms that are due. It's important to note that not every member of the chapter has access to the chapter admin portal. The two chapter positions that would use it the most would be the president and the secretary. As chapter advisor, you do have access to some of the reports and rosters in the chapter admin portal. You can find the chapter admin portal through the Phi Sigma Pi website. Once you go to phisigmapi.org, in the upper right, you will click on member login and then chapter admin portal on the top bar. You will then be directed to the Chapter Admin Portal. This is where you can sign in. Your username is the email address where you receive Phi Sigma Pi emails, which is most likely your school email address. If you are not sure of your password, you can send me an email and I will update your password for you. My email is advisor at phisigmapi.org or you can always give us a call at 717-299-4710. Once you log in, you are directed to the dashboard of the Chapter Admin Portal. On the dashboard, you will find a link to instructional videos on how to fill out every form in the Chapter Admin Portal. These are also found on our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Phi Sigma Pi. There are also instructional videos on how to view reports. Down a box, there is a link to all of the due dates. In the last box in the first column lists all the awards the chapter has won. The middle column has a lot of resource information. At the top is a list of our 2018 Leadership Academy dates as well as our host chapters. At the bottom are links to recruitment and retention resources. 
The last column at the top lists information about the chapter, number of student members, number of alumni members, number of honorary members, number of national and active members, and the total membership for the chapter. The section underneath that lists the chapter status. This is where it would list if the chapter is on probation or not. Also, it tells the chapter who their chapter consultant is or who their contact is at the national office. And the last box is the Leadership in Action Learning Moment. This is a quick video on a specific topic. Right now is three tips for retention, since many of our chapters are in the initiate program process and are looking to retain the members they pinned. At the top of the screen, there is a bar. Each section has a drop down that goes to forms or reports. With your chapter advisor access, you have access to the reports tab. That tab includes exec board roster, advisor roster, student member roster, alumni roster, honorary member roster, financial report, officer chair roster, and form 110 reports. All the rosters look the same. They just list different people depending on their membership type and position in the chapter. The rosters include first name, last name. For this instance, since it is the exec board roster, it lists the position, work phone, home phone, cell phone, email, chapter, and address. The next section that you have access to as a chapter advisor is the Form 110 report, or our end of the term report. First, there are six documents that need to be uploaded into the chapter admin portal. Bylaws and operating policy that are found under administration. Budget is found under financial activities. Recruitment and initiation calendar and initiation initiation handbook and manual found under recruitment initiation planning and the risk management policy found under risk management planning. For this example, I will show you how to find the chapter bylaws. You would go to reports, form 110 reports, administration, and then bylaws. You will be directed to another screen where you can click on the file link for the bylaws you would like to review. You will see that it has the year, term, and date submitted. The other part of the Form 110 or the end of the year, end of term report that needs to be submitted is section summaries. There are eight section summaries that fall under this. Administration summary, alumni relations summary, fellowship summary, fundraising summary, scholarship planning summary, leadership summary, recruitment and initiation summary, and the risk management summary. Let's take a look at one of the reports, recruitment initiation summary. You will go to reports, Form 110 reports, Recruitment Initiation Planning, and then Recruitment and Initiation Summary. The report would look like the one on the right and would compare the past couple of terms. You can see how each question was answered. And that is the Chapter Admin Portal. So another time for a quick poll question. Do you feel as though having access to the chapter admin portal is helpful as a chapter advisor? It looks like everyone said yes, which is very good to know and helpful, so thank you. I now want to take some time to answer any questions you may have. If you have any questions, just answer them in the go to box on your screen and I will answer them for you. But as they are co coming in, I want to just run through some announcements, deadlines, and other happenings going on in the Phi Sigma Pi world that you can participate in or update your chapters about. Here are our upcoming due dates for our members. All the due dates can be found at phi sigma pi .org slash due dates. You can see the next three um, are quarter schools, and then the last one, December 15th, is our semester in quarter schools. We are looking to expand to the following schools. If you know of anyone that works or attends those schools or any other schools that doesn't already have a Phi Sigma Pi chapter and wants to become a founding member, you can email their contact information to expansion at phi sigma pi .org. At the 2017 National Convention, the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Organization became our national philanthropy. You can learn more about Hobie and how your chapter can get involved at phi sigma pi org service. 
Fasting with Pie is celebrating National Philanthropy Day on Wednesday, November 15th. This Friday at noon Eastern, we will be holding a webinar about creatively planning an event with another organization with our National Philanthropic Partners, Hobie. You can register at fastingwithpie.org slash lunch and learn. On Wednesday, November 1st at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, we will be discussing how to help initiates become members during a nationwide Twitter chat. All you have to do is follow and tweet with the hashtag PSP Leadership to join the conversation. You can register at fastingwithpie.org slash tweet me. The Phi Sigma Pi Foundation, the charitable side of Phi Sigma Pi, is holding a virtual 5K through October. Members are asked to walk or run a 5K to participate. Find out more information at phisigmapi.org slash 5K. Dates and locations for our award-winning Leadership Academy have just been announced. Find your closest one on the map above. More information about the Leadership Academy can be found at phisigmapi.org slash leadership academy. And our 2018 National Convention will be in Phoenix, Arizona from July 25th to the 29th. We would love to see you there. It is also a requirement that every chapter send at least one member to National Convention. If you could please remind your chapter to budget appropriately for a West Coast National Convention starting in the fall. So it looks like no questions came in. So I hope this was a fast, just quick way um, for you to kind of see what the chapter admin portal is and how to view the reports um, and summaries that we have there. If you want, I will send this in an email afterwards so that you have it for future, um, but also just use those YouTube videos that you can get to through the chapter admin portal if you have any questions on how to review any of the summaries. So the next opportunity for our chapter advisors to get together will be on Monday, November 13th at noon Eastern. That is when I will be holding a go-to meeting call where our advisors can talk about anything from questions with Phi Sigma Pi to topics in higher ed. You can join through a link in an email that will be sent to you on November 1st or find the link at phisigmapi.org slash faculty advisors. If you have any questions, please email me at advisor at phisigmapi.org. Chat with you again in November. Until then, lead on.